Nico, D1NZ Pro Sport Unleashed. Adam Whitehead, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, Steve. How are you? I'm good, mate. We are here, of course, Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon, but there's one thing on our mind, and that is round two of the D1NZ. It's pretty cool uh, getting out here to uh, Manfield Circuit and uh, watching all these um, new V8s and stuff. They're pretty cool. You certainly know a thing about V8s. You campaigned one last season. Yeah, I did actually. There was uh, borrowed a good good friend of mine's car, and um, unfortunately, it didn't go the way that we had planned. But um, you know, we we learn from these things, and uh, we come back even stronger. We're in the sunshine of the beautiful Manawa too, a place that's close to home for you. Yeah, it is actually now. Uh, moved south of the North Island a little bit more, and um, this is now the um, closest track to track to home. So hopefully, get some good practice here, and um, yeah, can't wait. To the side of us right now. Now, the bonnet being up, that was a standard thing you had had running the old RB life. There's a slight change. Yeah, uh, hey, we've seen the light and um, the old uh, RB had to go. So, uh, now we're rocking a 2JZ this year and um, so far so good. Touch wood. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it rolling, see, see what we can do. So you've run a couple of different things. It was a V8 last year. It was an RB in former life as well. Now you've gone to the 2J. Why the engine changes? Oh, look, you hear all the stories of being 2J so reliable and, and you know, all of that. And hey, the, the proof's in the pudding. They do last. Uh, they're a really strong motor. And, um, you know, if you, if you want to be at the top of the table, you, want to, you need to be consistent. And to be consistent, you need to have a, a engine that holds together. So here it is. <laughs> Now I know that you're quite the, the the man who does the turning of spanners under the bonnet here. Who built that thing? Uh, well, it was, it was built by me. Um, yeah, pulled it all apart and done all the work and stuff. It's still running a stock bottom end, but um, but uh, come next year, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll take the step up and um, pull it apart again, chuck some more shiny bits at it, and we'll, we'll squeeze a bit more than uh, 700 horsepower this year. So Pro Sport, you've been doing a couple of seasons. You talk about stepping up to make a bigger engine. Are we ever going to see the step up into Pro? Yeah, it's definitely in the uh, it's definitely in the uh, pipeline. But um, we'll we'll see how this season goes, and uh, if it all goes well, then uh, we'll go and go and play with the big boys. I think. The Repco D1NZ National Drifting Championship is heading to the Waikato for the next round of the 24 season. Case Bull and Burry has had the measure of the competition following his maiden victory in Topol for round one. But the big guns will have a point to prove as we head to Hampton Downs Motorsport Park, part of the Festival of Racing and the final round of the Super Sprint Motorsport New Zealand Championship. Repco D1NZ National Drifting Championship Friday and Saturday, March 16th and 17th, Hampton Downs Motorsport Park. For ticketing information, check out d1nz.com.